Attention, Skippers fans. Rob Manfred has just assigned us a very important task. Super important. He is too busy with the foreign substances fight for all is good. He cannot come up with an all MLB team for the first half. So he assigned the two smartest people he knows the task of doing this. And we're only asking for one thing and one thing only. Tickets to the All-Star Game <laughs> and flights because we we live in Canada. So uh, comment below. The more comments we get, the more likely we will go to the game. <laughs> so keep commenting. We're going to do this. we got to be there. I mean, we're going to make the best team possible. We took players from both leagues, the American League and the National League, five starting pitchers and one closer to build the best possible team from the first half. And since we claim we're the skippers, we made it into a lineup. We're the skippers. We got literally the batting order and the rotation for you. It's the greatest lineup it's ever assembled. Pretty incredible. So let's get right into it. We're going to go through the lineup first. Batting first, from Cincinnati, a left-handed hitting outfielder, we have Jesse Winker. He's going to go right here, right in the top. I mean, there was we, did, we didn't argue, but we were like, who do we bat one? We could have went. Some other guys. Speedster, but Jesse Winker. What a great year he's been having. Absolutely. Love him leading off for our squad. Second. You want to announce he's hitting second? Second. For second from San Diego Padres. We got Fernando Tatis Jr. <laughs> now, I love Xander Bogarts. Yes, you do. But Tatis is just on another level. This is an all star game, too. It's we want -star stars. <laughs> Not that Xander Bogarts. We want excitement. Yes. Three home runs a game. That's excitement. Oh, yeah, that's excitement. So Tatis hitting second. Absolute electric fact. We also need to talk about the uniforms, too. We are making new uniforms for this team because Rob Manfred yeah. did not spend enough time on the actual uniforms because they stink. Batting third, one of our favorite players, mm -hmm. drafted him in the FSGA, Ronald Acuna Jr. hitting third. Welcome to the team, Ronald. He was a no-doubter. Oh, absolutely. Like he was going to be on our team. It wasn't even a thought. He was the number one outfield locked in. We got him hitting three. Could have hit him one. Could have hit him four. Guy Silver style that could put him... Doesn't matter. Put it anywhere. He's going to perform. Lineup. Yes. All right. Announce our fourth player. Fourth player, designated hitter, Shohei Otani. <laughs> now, we could have picked JD Martinez. We could have. Shohei. International superstar. Shohei is going to give us a show on yeah. All Star Day. Oh, good so, play on words, Jer. Shohei Otani hitting four. He's Avery's guy. He's not He's not really my guy. He's Avery's guy. But Okay. Yeah. Well, he's, he's a great your guy. guy. He's not my guy. True. True. All right. Our guy combined. Oh my god! This is we should hold hands and talk about this pick. That's how much we like it. Batting fifth, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Incredible season so Incredible. far. No doubt, Vlad. Now Matt Olson. If you haven't seen the video, I broke glass because of this absolute. Slant. I'm going to swear right now. Are you bullshit? <laughs> bullshit, Matt Olson. He should have been nominated at least. But Vlad is obviously the pick here. Guy's been. Absolute terror. Would you rather have Vlad or Ronald Acuna or not nah, Shohei Otani for MVP in the AL? Uh, Vlad. Shohei. Mm -hmm. Okay. Announce our third baseman. Third baseman. I, I cannot stress how much I love this guy. From Boston Red Sox, Rafael Devers. <laughs> He's you. been amazing. So good. So good. Another left-handed hitter. We needed to. I am addicted to putting a left-handed hitter and a right-handed hitter. And like even switch hitters, I love switch hitters. You can put them anywhere. Bring now, them. who did we not pick over Devers? Arenado. Um, Arenado. I think Devers was no. He was one of the locks. I think yeah, for third he, base. We we are huge Devers guys, so it could have played a factor into locking him in there. But there's definitely a couple players could have took a spot. You asked to not say this name. That is why I'm announcing our seventh hitter, outfielder of the Cincinnati Reds, Nick Castellanos. Did I tell people he was a must-draft player? Yes, you did. I Look at him now. He's on the all-MLB first half Two team. Two Reds outfielders. Unbelievable. <laughs> Cincinnati. You can't, Unbelievable. You can't make this up. Oh, also, no one else has ever done this segment. So if you see this on MLB Network, send Mark DeRosa a cease and desist. Just tell him we're out there. Tell yeah. Skippers. Tell Mark that there's this, there's this baseball podcast called Skippers. <laughs> um, who do we miss in the outfield? Who didn't make the cut? Cedric Mullins is on our Oof. bench. Yep. You know? Yeah. Michael Brantley. Brantley is on our bench. Uh, Mike Trout, Byron Buxton, yeah. on our bench. Yeah, okay. um, yeah I, I mean, Trout and Buxton probably would have been this, but they're not capable of no. playing. They're injured no. right now. Injured. And the best, avail the best ability is availability. Everyone knows that, and they can't play. So fuck them. All right, so hitting eight, obviously we know this is where we put our shit hitters. <laughs> um, in that, any lineup, shit hitters go eight. Uh, we're going catcher here. We're going Buster Posey. Uh, Bounce back here. Could have picked Salvador Perez, but man, 
34 years old, Buster Posey. He's balling. He's balling. He took a year off last year, and it was good for his mental health, I think. I think it was great for his mental health, obviously. Yeah, and his body. So good for Buster Posey. The cheater, batting ninth. He, we wanted him to lead off at the start. We had a big I fight wanted, about this I one. I wanted him to lead off. Our second baseman. The nine hole is just the second leadoff spot. Everyone in the world knows that. Jose Altuve is batting ninth for our team. People call it questionable, but I do have a Jose Altuve jersey. It's right here. You can't Ketchup see it. It's Zane off the jersey, <laughs> but it's in the set. Um, we could have picked. We could have been homers. We really could have been homers and picked Marcus Simeon. But that's I just, think we should have a bench of like twenty guys. You know, <laughs> Boba Shett's on the bench. Let everyone have fun, right? Oh, yeah. Let the kids play. But Jose Altuve has been great. I know people are going to call him cheater. What else do they call him? <laughs> Little Short. Midget. Yeah. <laughs> we could think of a bunch of ones. I, I think there's a couple other nicknames they call him. Yeah. They're probably not appropriate for this kid's show. Great nine hitter for us. Now, pitchers, our rotation. You want to start us off? Yeah. I mean, this is a this is tough pick. Like, who's oh, going to be our SB one? Yeah, I, I have no clue who would be our number one starting pitcher. It's this guy. He was a shortstop in college. People forget that. And when MLB tweets that he's getting more hits, you just have to know he was a shortstop at Stetson. It's Jacob Degrom. Great pick. Some people are asking if he's a better hitter than pitcher. I don't know who's asking that, but that's definitely not me asking that. Yeah, it was me. Jacob Degrom, incredible player. I mean, you can't make up how good he is. The foreign no, substances so aren't stopping him, but the foreign substances might. Stop the second guy. Second guy, Garrett Cole. Now, okay. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Yes, there has been issues with his spin rate, but come on. You know the Yankees are going to push this guy's votes. We're adding him because he's a gamer. He doesn't know how to handle press conferences. No. We're going to we're gonna coach him. We're we going to have a nice little we're, conversation five minutes before the game. We'll be his PR team. Yeah, we'll talk to him. <laughs> What's our rate? What's our going rate for Garrett Cole's PR team? <laughs> well, it's tickets to the game. True. And yeah, flights. We're cheap. Yeah. It's a, it's an all one package. Yeah. There's no there's no extra rate. <laughs> so we're gonna coach him and we're gonna tell him you know just say no. Just say the words no when someone asks us. Do you use spider tack? No. Yeah, that's how you answer that, Garrett. So we're gonna talk to you about that. Pretty incredible. All right, number three surprise this year, Kevin Gosman. He's been incredible. What Absolutely else can amazing. you say about this guy? No, I can't wait to see them in person. But Kevin Gosman, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna pitch probably. We'll throw him in like the fifth or sixth inning. Throw some throw some heat. Oh, all our starters are pitching in one game. Yeah. Just like Space Jam, one game like to the death? No, you each get like two innings. Okay, game. yeah. Tommy Hole, staff it up. Kevin Gosman, yeah, middle middle on this team. That split was nasty. He's been so good. So good. All right, so good. SP4. Brandon Woodruff from the Brewers. We could have went Corbin Burns. We went Woodruff because he's been more reliable. He's played more innings. I mean, pitch more innings, sorry. Brandon Woodruff, I mean. He's been really good. He's been great all year. T-Max a huge Brandon Woodruff guy, if you didn't know. Yeah. So. I think everyone should be a huge Brandon Woodruff guy after this episode. I think so. And our starting pitcher five, round out the rotation, innings eater, Carlos Rodon. Strikeout machine. Like we incredible. Should, how mile many hour, strikeouts is he going to get for us in this All-Star game? A billion? Probably, like, realistically six. Yeah. Because he'll pitch two innings? Uh, well, yeah. We need to work on who's pitching when because if everyone pitches two innings, we're playing a 12-inning game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Notable misses were Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns. Max Scherzer. Yeah, notable miss. Um, uh, Zach Wheeler, Wheeler. He almost made it. Yeah, sorry, Phillies fan. He was about this fan. close. Yeah. Uh, he this is not. a tough process. It's tough. Yeah, I mean, I mean they pass us with potentially one of the hardest things to do. Pretty incredible. But rounding out the team, Jeremy announced our closer. Why me? You know how to say his Closers, name. Closers, Mark Melanson. 24 saves on the year. He's leading the entire MLB. No one has more. Hey, he's been awesome. Padres have been awesome. He's going to shut the goddamn door in the ninth. Oh, we're going to win 100 to nothing, whoever we play. Yeah, that's for sure. So that's our team. We're also, I wanted to say that we are players' managers, by the yes, way. Yes, yes, yes. We, we let the kids play. We let them coach themselves. <laughs> that's what we do. Yes. There's no one like us. No. Well, Rob, thank you for this task. Obviously, we did an awesome job. And, Leave comments who you yep. want to see on your team. And our emails together. Skippers at ownersbox.com. Yeah, send those have, tickets. If you have send tickets those to the All-Star Game, we would love to go. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next year. Mm-hmm.